What's up guys? Uh, earlier we were going through some of the top eight or pool semis and top eight from Southeast Asia majors in Singapore. And I got so inspired looking at all of the different Ibukis, Sien, Kazunoko. You know, after playing so much third strike Ibuki over the past week or so, I thought, hey, maybe it'd be fun to just try to play her in Street Fighter V because it's gotta be about a thousand times easier. So we got pretty far. We went through the demonstrations. We went through the trial mode combos, volumes one, two, and three. And then I got stuck, but now, now we're back. Quickly on the scene. Command dash, target combo. Command dash, target combo, roundhouse B trigger, medium kick, medium punch, uppercut, and somewhere along, somewhere, hold fierce, release, and then super. Seems easy enough. I'm waiting, oh, I'm waiting too long, that's what it is. Oh, right. Uh, ah, okay. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure if I just hold uh, the V-trigger button, yeah, okay, all right, cool. So, you know, after the uppercut, then you have to have already been holding Fierce, so then you release and then super, right? But if you, so I have a V trigger set to the all three kicks button. So essentially after I activate, I'm just gonna continue holding down the button. And then even though it's holding heavy punch and heavy kick, when you release, the game is going to prioritize releasing fierce. So uh, that'll make things a little bit easier. Oh, I forgot to hold it. <laughs> Missed the uppercut. Yes. Oh, I know why that doesn't work. Oh, shit. Oh, duh. Okay, you can't hold fierce. <laughs> I, I can't just hold the V-trigger button. That's what it is, because then the uppercut won't come out. Ah, okay. Ah. Okay, this one requires a little bit of fancy finger work. Uh, this has got to be about a thousand times easier. Oh man. Ah, uh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Nope, 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 can't hold forward. How am I gonna, how am I gonna do that? Okay, I think I need to hold the all three punch button. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? Oh my god, do I have to actually use... Okay, okay, you know what it is? Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna hold, we're gonna hold a uh, heavy, heavy punch with my ring finger. And then somehow, okay, man. It's like if I'm holding it with my ring finger. No, I can't hold it with my ring finger. 
because if I hold it with my ring finger, I don't have like another finger. I think I need to use my middle finger. No, I missed it. Okay, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, all right, all right, I got it, I got it. There it is. Okay, we got it figured out. Now, we're gonna do it one more time just to prove it wasn't a fluke. I'll be honest, I never had to, I never had to use my thumb for any of that. Good thing there's so much uh, execution Good thing there's so much uh, input leniency. Oh, the other side. Okay, you want me to do the other side? Okay, all right. You're right. Of course. I've been inspired by Sien since uh, 2011. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah, he rocks a Buki in five. I was uh, looking at his matches earlier. There it is. Fuck, man. Sorry. Okay, let's do it a few more times. Input leniency is great. Uh, I did all her trials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do all her trials. I mean, why not, right? Not to say that they're all useful, but... Who knows? Maybe they are useful. Who knows? Who am I looking to main now? Dude, I want to play some Abuki, man. Yeah, Lucia was cool. I don't know. I mean, I'll whatever. I'll I'll I'll, I'll play whatever. All right, let's see. All right. Season 4. Wait, what? Definitely going to watch the demonstration. Okay. That doesn't that doesn't look too hard. Why am I doing that? Okay. Okay, one more time. All right, show it to me, show it to me. How does, how does he, how, how do you? So you can cancel the kunai release into the command dash jump thingy. There we go. All right, now we're getting somewhere. I was so close. Oh my God, we're almost there. Yes! All right, all right, I told you, I, I, I told you it wasn't, it, it was not, that was not that hard. Come on, come on, give me a little credit, guys. I mean, how long did it take you? Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, uh-huh, that's what I thought. <laughs> Street Fighter V casual friendly? Look at him, he's trying to be precise, has to build muscle memory. 
of tons of tries. The combos are too strict in my opinion. I don't know why is this way. Why? Because Street Fighter is hard as fuck. That's why. You want a casual game? Go play Tetris 99. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't, you're looking for a casual game? This ain't it, Chief. My Alexa downstairs just said something. So we're going to go into training mode and we're just going to try to, I have some notes that I wrote from, from earlier. So we're just going to try some of this stuff in, uh, in training mode. First and foremost, every time that we're in training mode, uh, the first thing to do is pause and then turn on attack data, frame advantage and key display. Uh, we're going to set guard to after first attack and then we're going to set recovery to normal and then stun to off. Uh, now's a good time to go through all of, uh, go through her uh, frame data. Basically, looking at her frame data, uh, I use uh, fullmeter.com. So what I like to do is just like, you go to fullmeter.com, load up a bookie, and then I clicked on the on block column. So now it's sorting by moves that have the most uh the least or the most uh frame advantage so um she has three moves that are plus two low jab standing medium kick and standing medium punch so that means that uh if she hits either of these then she can go straight into uh a five frame move, which would be standing medium punch, or a six frame move uh, for a four frame characters that are, uh, that where um, their fastest normal is, is four frames. Uh, why is this important? Because uh, throws come out in five frames, and if you are plus two, and then uh, do a move that is five frames that leaves a three frame gap where you know if they hit a button they'll get you'll get a counter hit and it's important uh counter hits are important because you get extra two extra frames to connect the combo and uh, you, I'm pretty sure it also does uh, more more damage and more stun. But it's been so long that I, I don't know, I might have that wrong. All, I, but you know, really, the, the damage doesn't really matter as much as the extra frame ad advantage. So uh, what we can do, I guess, is just set a guard to first attack only. And then for guard recovery action, what we can do is uh, record um, we can record uh, a three frame normal, which is standing jab. We recorded our stand jab, which is the three frame, her, her only uh, three frame standing normal. And so now uh, she'll do, um, what do you call it? Uh, she'll do uh, stand, jab, uh, stand jab after blocking. But uh, let's say that, you know, it was a, uh, let's say we were fighting a four frame character um, you know, typically like some of the bigger characters are four frames. Her standing leg kick comes out in four frames. So we can set that to slot two, and now uh, we can turn that on later. Or, I mean, I guess I can just show you, like, uh, see? So she'll just do standing leg kick because that's on slot one, but we want uh, standing uh, light punch, so uh, that's on slot one. So uh, the three moves that she has that are plus two are uh, low jab, standing medium kick, and uh, standing medium punch. 
so uh, we can test. So we can test all this, right? Yeah. So. Ah, okay. So standing medium kick, right? Six frames. So that means that the only thing that we can do after um, low strong, or sorry, low jab is uh standing medium punch so here so so this is the mix up right you do low jab throw but if you press it too fast then then the uh stand jab will come out why does stand jab come out uh because low jab and stand jab uh are um chainable we know that she's gonna jab every time so basically low jab throw will eat her uh, stand jab. So basically that means that the mix-up is either low jab throw or it's low jab standing medium punch and then oh wait does she not have the spin kicks? What the hell? Okay yeah all right yeah she's got no spin kicks. Okay that means that we don't go from uh, standing medium punch to uh, medium kick unless uh, we're trying to do um, you know unless we're uh, trying to do V-Trigger. So basically, uh, so you could go low jab, low jab, standing medium punch, medium kick into the target combo. Or, or you could, you know, you could do that. So essentially that's, uh, that's the mix up against uh, three frame characters.